the blueprint to make 10K this month as a new wholesaler. Guys, it's Rick Ginn. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you actually have to make a decision to move forward. And if you do, I'm gonna show you my three-step process to easily get to that 10K a month as a brand new wholesaler. But before I do it, do me a favor, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so you continue the best information on wholesaling today. Listen guys, 2024, in my opinion, is the time to jumpstart your wholesaling career. In fact, honestly, the sooner you start it, the better off you are. If you're like, oh no, it's too saturated, it's too competitive, you haven't seen anything yet. You are still in the ground stages of wholesaling. I would get into it. Guys, I know I started back in 2003. I said the exact same things you're saying now. And the problem is, guys, you're just thinking about it. And you have to make a decision at this point. Your decision is, I'm I'm going all in in 2024 in wholesaling and I'm going to give it everything I got and I'm not going to fail. Or you could be one of these people that just dips your toes into it, try it a little bit. If it doesn't work out exactly the way you expect it to, you're most likely going to quit. And that's the reality. The people that go all in, they understand they have obstacles. They're going to have some bad days and they're going to have deals that fall through. That's part of the equation. That's what we call life. But too many people just try wholesaling and honestly, Honestly, that's one of the biggest downfalls. It doesn't matter how much information you get. It really comes down to your effort and do you have a game plan to move forward. So worst case scenario is people don't make a decision. They sit in between diving in all the way and dipping their toes in and they do nothing. And the reality is, if you don't go all in, you're literally wasting your time in this business. Now, I've always said, wholesaling is actually very simple. It's us humans that complicate it. I'm no exception. I complicated this business so much that I drove myself crazy. I am now all about simplifying this business because most of the time it's in your head, the stories you tell your stuff. Make a decision right now, go all in, or shut off this video. So I'm glad you kept the video on and you're all in. So here's the first thing you do. Go over to freewholesaling.com. It's a course me and my son have created. We got over 28 years experience working in this and we got the old school techniques, the new school techniques, and we are active wholesalers right now in 2024. In fact, we're some of the largest because we do deals all over the country in our local markets and our select virtual markets. So you're working with the right team. What I don't want you to do is study, 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 and never do anything and freeholesaling.com because that is a victim mentality and you are just delaying. It's called procrastination. Why? Because you're scared and you're uncomfortable. Guess what? If you want true change in your life, you're going to have to embrace being a little bit nervous, a little bit scared and wildly uncomfortable because it is the unknown. And us as humans are programmed for certainty and knowing exactly what's gonna happen, the reality is that's not how life works. So if you've decided that your old lifestyle, your old personality, your old job, your old school really didn't help you out at all, then you gotta stop trying to filter how you're gonna do wholesaling. So go over to freewholesaling.com, but remember, study a section and then take an action. You can't just study the whole thing. This is not like school. School creates employees. I'm trying to give you all the freedom you deserve but you're going to have to do what few people will do. And I get it. It's going to scare you. and It's going to be uncomfortable. That means you're making massive change and you're off to your best version of yourself. Now let's go over three simple techniques to get you to 10K. They are not complicated. They're super simple. They are by design. Number one, simple technique called driving for dollars. This is when you get in your car and you just look for ugly houses. It is a no brainer. You look for places that have high grass, overgrown grass. You look for boarded up windows. You look for blue tarps on the roof. You look for mailboxes knocked down. You look for houses that just look like crap. You basically write down the address. If you're old school like me, I used to write it. Or you can use the newest technology, dmzac.com. It will record your routes. It'll even give you skip trace numbers. It's an all built in one and done piece of software for you. And quite honestly, I think it's changed wholesaling, especially in 2024. Go over to dmzac.com if you want to do that, or you can just write it down. It's not a requirement. Remember, you've got to go out there and just look for ugly houses, take different routes. These are in areas where you're looking to buy properties. So you want to look for blue collar neighborhoods where people are working and coming home doing their nine to five. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to collect 300 leads a week. That's right. I said 300. Oh my God, Rick, that's a lot. Listen, you need as many leads as humanly possible. Go make it happen. It is up to you. There are thousands and thousands of houses out there. You just got to find the ones that stick out. And remember, these houses choose us. We don't choose them. 
they don't get like this for no reason. There's always a story behind it. Most of these people need help. By identifying these houses driving for dollars, you are getting a visual clue on a distressed house. And these lists jump to the top. They are my favorite list because you're the only person that has it. Nobody else can buy this list. You have to go out and earn it. Go out and do the driving for dollars. So now we move on to technique number two, and it's a two-parter. So the first thing is, if you go over to freewholesaling.com, we talk about government list a lot. Why? Because where there's smoke, there's fire, guys. And where there's smoke, I can find the fire. You're looking for the fire. It's much easier to look for smoke than it is fire because smoke rises. It is no different when it comes to wholesaling. So if you go over to freewholesaling.com, we teach you all the extensive government list. But I'm going to teach you about three specific lists I want you to jump on as a newbie. Number one is the code violation list. This list is usually prompted from your city and or county. These are houses that are out of order, meaning the grass is high, boarded up windows. These are the code violation list. And before you were out driving for dollars and you were looking for these, these are properties that the city's flagged or somebody's called in and complained about. And obviously, this is a perfect list. Think of the city and the county doing your driving dollars for you. And remember, these people don't choose to let these houses get in this condition. There is usually some sort of distress in the family. Maybe someone lost a job. Maybe somebody passed away. And this is the reason why they need our help. I love these lists. I've done them since day one. I still do them today. Code violation is great. And remember, if you get all these lists, you're going to get resistance. To overcome resistance, you got to be it with persistence, learn to be nice, connect with people, and use your report building skills we teach you over at freewholesaling.com. And don't give up. The next government list I want you to get are the pre-foreclosures. And these are derived at your county courthouse. And guys, this is one of the easiest lists to get. You shouldn't get any resistance because these are public lawsuits. Now, depending on what state you are and what you are, you can't go in and just ask for a pre-foreclosure list. That doesn't exist in the courtrooms. They have foreclosure hearings and they start off with either a list pendants or a notice of default, depending on what stage they're in. And once you can get access to these lists, you can go and get them in person or most of the time you can get them online. Remember, the sooner you connect with these people, the better you're going to do. I find anything after three to four months, they are very difficult to work with because procrastination runs rampant. So catch them early and it works well. List number three is the tax delinquency list. This is one of the more challenging lists to get sometimes and they're usually derived at your county level, at your tax assessor's office. And you're looking for people that are behind on their real estate taxes. Now, you got to be careful how you ask for this list because people are really strange when you ask for it. Just say, I'm doing some research in my county. I want to find out what percentage of houses are tax delinquent. So I can identify areas that maybe I want to live in and maybe I don't. It is the truth. You can do it. If you're a young person, you can get away for research on a college program. Remember, this information you already pay for as a taxpayer. The problem is the privacy policies are a pain in the butt. And once again, overcome resistance with persistence. Just don't take a no. Just respond to them positively and ask the question back to them. You cannot just accept no. You have to overcome it. If you can overcome any one's two objections, you have a high probability of getting what you want. Go out there and fight for it. Get these lists. Now, once you have these three lists, we're going to move on to the second part of step two, and we're going to do what we call a technique called reverse driving for dollars. You simply go out and put a sticky note on it. It can be yellow. It can be chartreuse. It can be pink. You can handwrite it at first, or you can do a stamp and say, hey, just got a quick question about your house. This is Rick. And you put your phone number on there. You go out and put 100 sticky notes, 15, 20 people call you back. It saves you a lot of time and there is a high response rate. You would answer to a note stuck on your door just like I would. And for that reason, this is why this technique works. And with the advent of ring doorbells and people not answering their doors anymore, this is why it's so effective. I used to do door knocking. Door knocking still works, but we're in a different world. I don't really recommend it in 2024. So use the reverse driving for dollars paired up with these three lists and you're well on your way to that 10K. Okay, step number three is really old school, but it works. And a lot of people overlook this. And I like tried and true methods that work in wholesaling. I got 21 years behind me to prove it. The good old fashioned banded signs. But the way I learned banded signs and the way I'm going to teach you the guerrilla marketing method. I don't want you to go out buy 500 or 1,000 pre-printed banded signs because you're going to go broke doing it. It will be thousands of dollars. And that's the last thing I want you to do. You got to test the waters out on it. So I want you to go get 18 by 24 
white corrugated plastic signs. Find a local sign vendor that you can buy them wholesale from, or you can sometimes just get them at your box stores and the simple stakes, you can cut the stakes in half. It cuts your cost in half. And then you're going to get a black Sharpie marker and you're going to go with three lines. And your three lines simply state this. Top line is sell your house today. Second line is any condition, any situation. Your third line is your phone number nice and clear. One side only. I just gave you the best blueprint, the most cost-effective way to put out these signs. You can use blue ink if you want, but only do it on one side. And then go find intersections where there's a lot of traffic, but people can slow down to take a picture of the sign. If you can't slow down and take a picture of that sign, it is not a good place to put it. Also, look for other companies putting out signs, mattress signs, and dating sites do a lot of banded signs. Sometimes you can pair up with them and you can help each other out, but keep in mind, it doesn't always work out. Now, once you find a, a perfect spot like that, you've got to understand you're not doing this on a big giant budget. So if you print, say, 15 or 20 signs, you're going to put them out in a close knit, maybe within a quarter mile radius in each one of the intersections there. And then you're going to see if you get traffic on it. You're going to see if people call you. And my suggestion is put the signs out Thursday evening and pick them up Sunday evening. Why? Number one, you're on a budget. I don't want you to keep buying signs. You're never going to get all your signs back. People steal them. The wind blows them away. Stuff happens. Make sure you check with your local city and county that you're not breaking any laws. God knows I have. I don't want you to get in trouble, but this seems like you're really big in a small area. And once you find an intersection that hits, that is your go-to spot. And you can constantly keep moving all these signs around and you don't go broke buying banded signs. Guys, the truth of the matter is the three techniques I just taught you, they'll only work if you'll work. You have to be extremely consistent. I would go six days a week and make it like clockwork. Always doing all three techniques and keep it going. Once you get that consistency, that's the marketing within your business. That's the blood in your veins. Once you consistently do it, eventually the odds are going to line in your favor and you're easily on your way to 10K. Guys, this is just the basics get started. If you want to learn more on how to deep dive and go all in on wholesaling and learn from people that actually wholesale this business and truly want you to succeed and actually give you the blueprint from start to finish, not only do your first deal, but get you your first hundred grand, go over to freewholesaling.com. Guys, let me know in the comments, are you jumping in? Are you all in? I want to see the comments all in because there is no other way to do wholesaling. But listen, guys, if you got value from today's video, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button button, hit that subscribe button so others can find the path to freedom of wholesaling by connecting with me and Zach. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.